What is up guys and welcome to another episode of the top 10 loadouts in TF2. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Engineer. The primary weapon on today's loadout is going to be the Widowmaker. If you hate reloading, then this is the shotgun for you. Our secondary weapon is going to be the Wrangler. The Wrangler is one of the strongest weapons in the game for the Engineer, and we'll talk a bit more about why that is later. Our final and very controversial weapon in today's loadout is going to be the Gunslinger. Now as much as I don't want to suggest this weapon, the video is called Top Loadouts, and the Mini Sentry is a very powerful weapon. It's also going to be really important for the strategy that's going to pair along with this loadout, which we're going to talk about later on. So at the start of this video, I'm going to talk a bit more about the weapons and what makes them so awesome, but at the end of the video I also want to suggest a bit of a strategy that you can do with this loadout that is both incredibly fun and amazingly powerful. So, the primary weapon in today's loadout is the Widowmaker, and this shotgun is an absolute beast. The Widowmaker consumes 30 metal per shot and can continue to fire without stopping as long as you have enough metal to shoot with. On top of that, any damage you deal with a shotgun is returned as metal, meaning as long as you deal 30 damage with each shot, the Widowmaker will use no ammunition at all, and a lot of the time will actually allow you to gain extra metal on top of what it costs you to shoot. The fact that this weapon never has to reload makes it absolutely devastating in an intense fight, as you can just keep on firing indefinitely. If you really want to get messy, combine the Widowmaker with a Kritzkrieg and you'll be able to wipe the entire enemy team without ever stopping. Our second weapon, the Wrangler, is just straight up ridiculous, and you don't need to look far beyond the stats of this weapon to see that. Wrangling a sentry triples its health meaning that a wrangled mini sentry has a massive 300 HP, making it just as strong as a heavy, while being a much smaller and harder target to hit. But if that's not enough, the wrangler also doubles the rate of fire of the sentry, and gives it unlimited range, allowing you to pick off some pesky targets from a distance. So what has the wrangler given you? A sentry that puts out twice the amount of damage, has three times as much health, as well as unlimited range. Another great application of the Wrangler, which isn't mentioned as much, is its use as a mobility tool. Wrangling a sentry can allow you to have access to some places which would otherwise be beyond the reach of a normal engineer. And this is going to be absolutely critical for the strategy that I'm going to explain later on in the video. So, this brings us to my long-time nemesis, the Mini Sentry. And never has a weapon existed that I both hate and love so much. There are countless factors that make the Mini Sentry so incredible. From its fast build time to the low metal cost, as well as the frustratingly small hitbox, the Gunslinger is perfect for any engineer that wants to play hyper-aggressively and get right up in the face of his enemies. The entire idea behind this loadout is to play the role of the hyper-aggressive engineer, and not to just sit back waiting for people to walk into your sentry. So, now that we've talked a bit about the weapons themselves, I want to show you a pretty awesome strategy that I love to use alongside this loadout. Now, unlike most loadouts which focus solely on getting kills and capturing objectives, with this strategy our sole goal is to become one massive distraction. So right now I'm going to show you an example of a game I played on Badwater. As soon as the gates open, your sole goal is to get behind the enemy. Now, occasionally some people are going to notice you as you try to run behind, but if that happens, all you got to do is just keep dumping down a steady trail of mini sentries, and this will either slow them down or scare them away completely. Once you're all the way behind, all you need to do is hide a teleport somewhere where the enemy isn't going to find it, then make your way over to their spawn and start ambushing people as they walk out. This is great for a few reasons. Most people have their guard down when they leave spawn, meaning they're going to be pretty surprised when a crazy engineer starts shooting them in the back with a shotgun, and this should get you some pretty easy kills. Secondly, once they start to realize that you're hiding out behind the spawn, the enemy is going to get really, really annoyed, and start to come hunt you down and look for your hidden teleport. Right here, you can see almost half the enemy team is running around trying to hunt me down. That is six people who are wasting their time behind spawn instead of going to defend the objective. That should make it really, really easy for your team to get some really easy point caps, as the cart will be almost completely undefended. Killing you should be extremely hard, as you can just keep dumping down mini sentries and keep your distance, but if they finally do manage to hunt you down, that hidden teleport means you can immediately get right back to annoying them at spawn and stopping them from actually doing what they need to do, which is defending the objective. When I play Engineer, this is pretty much the only thing I do. Playing really aggressively is great fun, and it's also a massive help for your team. 
This is my second Christmas video, guys, so today I'm going to be giving away another $50 Steam gift card. So if you want to win that, all you need is to be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below in the comment section, and I will choose a random winner in the next couple of days. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, maybe consider chucking it a like if you did, and if you have a better loadout for the engineer, chuck that in the comment section down below for me to read. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.